Okay, so a little bonus episode here. We got off that last call and I was like, man, the only thing I wanted to talk about was that we didn't go deep enough into the difference between nulls, which happen all the time, and sparsity or records that are just missing from the data. And this is endless cause for confusion for me and the people who come to see me in office hours because... Um, Oftentimes, transaction records produce data that doesn't have a value for every dimension member for every date, for example. And that's mm-hmm. just a record that's missing in the underlying data, which is different from a record being there, but the value being null. And so I, we got off of that last recording with Jonathan, and I was like, man, I wanted to dive into that a little bit deeper. And he pulled a rabbit out of the hat. So we came back and here we are um, to look at the rabbit that was in the hat. Yep. Okay. Um, Actually, in playing around with this, one of the uh, um, example, I'd actually put together a data set. I'd union together the data, but I think it can highlight this place of the null. Um, So... Here, what I've done is I've taken the two data sets we had previously and uh, union them together. Stacked them on top of each other. So here's my facility A and value A. Here's my facility B and value B. And then I have a, I created a calculation using if null. I'll just show that little calculation. If null, facility A, facility B. Um, And then here's my closest value. So I have that full list of everything from both tables. There's 11 rows of data here, Mm -hmm. um, which given I have, which is I have five facilities here and six in this one, Mm -hmm. five plus six is 11. So if I go back and I build a view using my coalesced facility and let's just make that a little bigger. And then here's my table name to split it apart. Here I'm seeing 11 marks. And I use this kind of view all the... Because you've got the 11 records in the data set, right? Yep. Yep. And Tableau is giving me an ABC because my default mark type is text for each of these locations for A and B. And then if I drop in that coalesced value and I just put that on text... Now we've got this blank for C because it's null, but then the ZHGR, there's still nothing here. If I hover over it, I'm not getting any tooltip because there's that, no that, value that's here. That's still nothing there is the absence of a location, the absence mm-hmm. of a record in the underlying data set onto which Tableau can paint some value. Yes. Yep. So there's no intersection of my table name and this for Z HDR. There's okay. just nothing right. there. The data Whereas is sparse. There is something here. Yeah. Yep. So my data is sparse. And so we can go into all sorts of stuff about densification and things like that to try to plot something here. Um, and we can spend hours and hours talking about that. And this is where with Going back to this thing with relationships, I'm going to go all the way back to this issue. We kind of have this situation here, only instead of a ZHGR, it's showing null. This imputed value from the relationship, we've imputed the mention value, but we've got to help Tableau to impute this measure value. Now... um, so I hope that makes sense to folks. Let me let me just say it again. So yep. back in the earlier episode, what we did was we saw that when you bring the second green pill out onto the canvas, the value B from logical table mm-hmm. B, in order to paint the bar with, with a 10 value in it, it needs a row in the facility A rows in order to paint that bar with a 10 on it. And the only option mm-hmm. that Tableau has is to impute the, the null, impute that null value uh, in the domain of the dimension facility A so that it can have a row there to put value B on it. Or and remove value B. 
it's gone. And so this is it's a very gone. similar scenario to the union thing that you just showed because it's a, we got there in a different way, but it's the same thing because they're mm-hmm. just the data yeah. sparse. There's no mm-hmm. record in the underlying data set that has a value uh, of ZG of the Z value. Um, and, and that mm-hmm. is the reason why there's not in a location table. There's not a location there to, to put uh, something on. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So that said, and this was the bit that I showed Keith after we were on our previous call that I had found in this, in this diving and everything is one of the things that I'll do to look at, okay, what is Tableau seeing right now is I'll use view data. And if we right click on an individual mark in the view, we'll get the view data for that mark. I'm just gonna right click in the white space Mm -hmm. and do a view data. And now we're gonna see what Tableau is seeing for the whole view. I usually use the analysis menu. So I'll go analysis view data, which is kind of the same thing, looking at, looking at the underlying yep. records for the whole canvas. Yep. So here's this summary. And in this summary here, the we see we've got our ZN sum of value A and it zeroed out that C hospital that we talked about previously. Mm-hmm. And then here's a null value for that imputed facility, but it is not zeroed out. And this is, if you're kind of shaking your head about what's going on here, because it was certainly strange to me, um, let me take the ZN off of this up here. Because because to me, this seems contrarian to everything we just talked about. Yep. Right, like everything we just uh, talked about in that earlier episode, is Mm -hmm. that um, there's not a there there. There, It's not a null, it's the absence of a record. But then when you come to view underlying data, it is a null. Yep, this is showing up as a null. So this C hospital null, this is really in our data. This is really in our data. If I look at table A, there's my null. Yeah, there's a record for C hospital in logical table A. It just doesn't have any any value in yeah. in that column. And there's no Z HDR in the data. There's no value for it. So Tableau is saying it needs to put something here. So it's showing this is null, but there's nothing here which we can get a sense of in our view because in our view, we're only seeing that Mm -hmm. and this one and previously also in our our previous work we'd had turned on the um uh the format special values to insert a zero there for that Mm -hmm. so let me just unwind that as well and so these are kind of like two different two different uses of the word null right like, um, and if I remember correctly, Bethany had mentioned that they, they thought about splitting hairs and calling them different things. And mm-hmm. then they just decided, ah, that would be, that would be even worse if we started it to use different vocabulary for, for, mm-hmm. for different types of nulls, it, then you're really going to yeah. in, in, incite violence. Um, mm-hmm. but it's kind of what's going on, right? Like there's the one word null is kind of being used in different places for different things that are that are not quite the same. And there's sort of, in this view, there's actually three different things going on here. Right. So this is a null in the data. Mm-hmm. This is a null imputed because of relationships. The gold Because I have to have a record there to put the number anything. 10 for value B. So, so Tableau yep. has imputed a, 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 a value there and that, what, that's what mm-hmm. that null is. Yep. And this null is something that Tableau is saying is null in view data, but is not available as a null in the view. Mm -hmm. And, and I've been back and forth of, well, like, do I say this is a bug in Tableau or a feature or by design? I'm, I'm doing my wishy-washy head. Well, let me ask what, what, if we were in charge of the product, what would you put there? I would have, a just an empty empty cell space here. yeah in empty space it, yeah. it should it should behave the same way ideally in view data as it does up above um yep. 
And okay. this is the one place I've ever seen where view data is not behaving like the rest of the view. Yeah. Yeah. So this is new to relationships. Yeah. As, okay. far, as far as I've been able to see. So a little, little bonus episode. I got what I wanted. I mm -hmm. wanted to dive a little <laughs> bit deeper into the difference between nulls and, and missing records and sparsity and, and, um, and Jonathan got what he had thought he might show us, but had been <laughs> reserved about, and we got it anyway. So, um, yep. yeah, thank you. Great. All right. Okay. Thanks. See you next time. Take care. Bye. Bye.